بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے ہوٹل اس کورس فرام دا بگننگ فرام دا فرسٹ لیسن سو القسم الاول دس از دا فرسٹ والیوم آف دا بک یو نو فرسٹ والیوم الوحدۃ الاولی مین فرسٹ یونٹ القرۃ القدم فٹ بال سو دا فرسٹ یونٹ از اباؤٹ دا فٹ بال الدرس الاول فرسٹ لیسن الدرس الاول فرسٹ لیسن قرۃ القدم مین فٹ بال قرۃ القدم فٹ بال الوحدۃ الاولی فرسٹ یونٹ الحیوار مین ڈائلاگ الحیوار مین ڈائلاگ ناؤ آئی ول ریڈ ڈائلاگ اینڈ آئی ول آلسو ٹرانسلیٹ اٹ ونس آئی کمپلیٹ اٹ دین آئی ول الاؤ یو ٹو آسک کوشچنس کمال سیز السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ السلام مین پیس علیکم مین اپون یو وا مین اینڈ رحم مین بلیسنگس اللہ مین اللہ رحم مین مرسی اللہ مین اللہ وا مین اینڈ اینڈ برکہ مین بلیسنگس پیس اینڈ مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگس آف اللہ بی اپون یو قاسم ریپلائز وعلیکم السلام و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اینڈ پیس اینڈ مرسی اینڈ بلیسنگس آف اللہ بی اپون یو ٹو دس از دا وے مسلم گریٹ ایچ ادر اٹ از اے ویری کامن فریز وین ایور دے میٹ ایچ ادر دے سی السلام علیکم اینڈ دا سیکنڈ پرسن آر سو ریپلائی وعلیکم السلام دین کمال سیز انا کمال انا مین آئی ایم کمال مین کمال انا کمال آئی ایم کمال قاسم ریپلائز آلن کمال ویلکم کمال و انا قاسم اینڈ آئی ایم قاسم انا مین آئی ایم اینڈ قاسم مین قاسم ویلکم کمال اینڈ آئی ایم قاسم کمال سیز آلن قاسم ویلکم قاسم ماضا طلب وٹ آر یو پلینگ ماضا طلب وٹ آر یو پلینگ تا مین یو تا مین یو اینڈ لائو مین پلینگ ماضا طلب وٹ آر یو پلینگ قاسم ریپلائز الب قورۃ القدم آئی ایم پلینگ فٹ بال سو آ مین آئی تا مین یو اینڈ آ مین آئی طلبو یو آر پلینگ الابو آئی ایم پلینگ الابو قورۃ القدم آئی ایم پلینگ فٹ بال کمال حل الابو ما کا حل مین کین الابو آئی پلے ما کا ود یو حل الابو ما کا کین آئی پلے ود یو قاسم ریپلائز تال کم سو تال بیسکلی مین یس کم ناؤ اف اینی آف یو ہیز اینی کوشچن جسٹ ایز یو مین آئی ول ان میوٹ ہیم If you have any question, you can ask me now. Now I need two students who will read and translate this dialogue. So who wants to read? Raise, raise your hand. I need two students. Okay, Mr. Musa Kasule, can you hear me? Yes. Musa Kasule, you are Kamal and Mr. Anas, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. You are Kasim. 
So okay. read and translate this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace and blessings be upon you. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. May peace, be, peace and blessings be upon you too. Kamal, I am Kamal. Ahlan Kamal, wa ana Qasim. Welcome Kamal, and I am Qasim. Ahlan Qasim, Mada Talab. You are welcome, Qasim. What do you play? I play football. I play football. هل ألعب معك؟ Should I play with you? Can I play with you? You can also say okay. تعال. Okay, come. If anyone has any question, just raise their hand. I will allow them to ask questions. ماذا تلعب؟ what are you praying? Okay, next we have the Darab mean practice exercise. It also means practice exercise. So no, there is no new vocabulary on this page. Previous vocabulary is repeated here. So I need someone to read this. Mr. Mujahid, can you hear uh, me? Assalamu alaikum. Wa uh, assalamu alaikum, sir. Wa alaikum, as are, you, are you hearing me properly? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, thank you. So, okay. sir, my question is that uh, without grammatic, how can we understand the language? So we have not a vocabulary. So we, it's our first session. So it will not difficult to us to understand such things in a very first place. Okay, got it. In this class, we also have grammar. We have separate uh, uh, book for the grammar. We will start it from the next month in China. Okay. So in this okay, class, we will teach grammar also. Okay, sir. So I have a next question. Can I ask? Yes. Uh, so, sir, what? Uh, so, what is the proper way? So, where from I should start the learn Arabic? Because from we have a holy Quran, we are Muslim. Alhamdulillah. So, what is the first step to learn the Arabic? So, can you define it and what is it? The main thing that you need to learn and speak Arabic is to memorize the vocabulary. Now it is up to your mind how quickly he learns and memorizes the new vocabulary. To learn Arabic, we need at least 5,000 words. Okay. Yes. Uh, and what sort of vocabulary? I understand it because I'm also doing the master in English. So vocabulary have a very great role, but uh, Intense structure, I think it's better too much. That is not a problem. For example, today we have started this lesson. Here, students have learned some basic vocabulary like ana, then talab, alab, kurat al kadam, ahlan. These are the five words that students have learned here. Then ma is the sixth word, ka is seventh word. So, around nine words students have learned in this chapter. In this way, they will slowly, slowly increase their vocabulary. So at the moment we have spent around, I think, 10 minutes here. In these 10 minutes, students have learned 10 new words. So I hope one day they will complete 5,000 vocabulary also. We have just started with 10 basic words. Okay, sir. Sir, uh, how long uh, it will go the session? I mean, to duration? One hour. One hour and period of time. I mean to say one day, uh, one month, two months, three months. One year. Okay, that's good. Thank you, sir. Thanks for free education. Sanjeevan Diodar, do you have any question? Yes, I have, sir. Uh, I, I want to ask that, uh, first of all, uh, I need to say that uh, I'm not Muslim, I'm Hindu uh, and I'm from India. So uh, basically I have less opportunity to practice Arabic because what happens is 
last year of I guess same institute only uh, of Arabic, but I got no opportunity to practice it because as um, as Muslims, you uh, you all all can read Quran and that uh, that you can practice your language, but uh, that does not happens with me. So what should I do? Okay, first, uh, my uh, I would want to ask you, what is your goal? Is your goal to learn spoken Arabic or is your goal to learn Quran? Uh, yeah, I don't have any problem with learning Quran also, uh, uh, but it's not my goal. Basically, I want to learn language and okay. uh, it can be spoken Arabic. It can be Futha. Uh, learning Futha is, is okay with me. I, I want to learn Futha only. But uh, learning Quran is not a problem for me, but uh, I don't do it usually. You know, I have uh, Quran at my home, but uh, it's not easily permissible me to read Quran because I come from an Orthodox Hindu family. So it's difficult for me to read book of uh, other religions. You know, that, that's difficult for me. Got it. So let me tell everyone one thing. Learning spoken Arabic is a different thing. and learning Arabic to understand Quran, understand Quran without translation is a different thing. So in this class, we will not study spoken Arabic. We will learn Arabic to understand Quran without translation. Our goal is this. This is not our goal. We will not uh, give any time to this thing in this class. Our goal is this thing. So after one year, inshallah, you all will be able to read and understand Holy Quran without any translation. This is a goal of this class. If anyone wants spoken Arabic, that is a different thing. And for that purpose, you better contact this WhatsApp number. They will arrange, uh, a, a teacher will be arranged for you. And for that, only one-to-one -one classes are available. That is a different thing. One-to-one -one classes are available for spoken Arabic. So the goal of this class is to understand Quran without translation we will study that thing in this class inshallah okay and someone is asking is this class for male and female this class is uh, both for male and female whatsapp group are separate for male and female but zoom class is same so here you are both male and female can participate in this class If anyone has any question, they can ask me. Okay, now I need someone to read this page. Uh, we have already learned this vocabulary on the previous page. Maza mean what? Tala mean you are playing. Anyone who wants to read, just raise your hand. Alabu mean I am playing. So this is the main vocabulary that we have read here. Okay, Mr. Kasim. Read and translate. Kasim, can you hear us? Yes. Okay, start. Mother Telab. Maza Talab. Maza Talab. What are you playing? Mother Telab. Telab. Kuratul Quran Alabu Kuratal Kadam Al Abu Kuratul Kadam I am playing football. Translated as well. I am playing football. Okay, next. Mother Tal Ab Al Ab Kuratul Salah. Okay. What are you playing? I am playing I, basketball. I, uh, 
because I don't understand all this. If you can translate you. Okay, no problem. Then we have Mr. Sanjeevan Deodar. Read and translate. Yes, it. sir, I can. I can, sir. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you play? What are uh, you and... playing? It is present tense. Sorry, but uh, sorry, what what are you playing? And Abu uh, Kuratul Kuratul, what is this? Kuratul Yad. Kuratul Yad means I am playing handball. Then next. Yeah. Mada Talab. What are you Al Abu Kuratul, what what are you playing? Then Al Al Abu Kuratul Tawila. Tawala. I am playing table tennis. I am playing table kura. tennis. Yes, table tennis. Allah bu I am playing table tennis. Now we have some basic counting yeah. here. We will study the counting in detail in the grammar book, inshallah. So you all better repeat after me. Wahid. 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 Isnan. Isnan. Isnan Salasa Salasa Salasa. Okay, Mr. Basha, read this counting. Assalamu alaikum, thank you so much for providing this wonderful opportunity. Mashallah, this is my first day. Malikum. I am from India. Welcome. Uh, I am very eager to learn Arabic uh, as well as Quran translation without. Uh, uh, Alhamdulillah, I'm very eager to learn. Thank you, Thomas, sir. You best now best. the number is uh, Wahid Ithnan Salata. Good. Next, we have Al Aswad Wal Huruf. Al Aswad means sounds, and Huruf means words. Harf means letter, alphabet, and its plural is Huruf, which means word. So, words are written here. So, I need someone who will repeat after me. I will read, inshallah. Okay, Mr. Mambasha, repeat after me. Samaka. Samaka. Sur. Sur. Sikin. Sikin. Sikin means knife. Okay. Nazara. Glasses. Nazara. Nukta. Dot. Nukta. Neil, Nile River. Neil, Nile River. Markab, boat. Markab, boat. Musht, comb. Musht, comb. Mizalla, umbrella. Mizalla, umbrella. Now I need a student who will read this. Mr. Anas. Yeah, okay, sir. Tell the meaning. Samaka. Okay, Samaka. Fish. Next. Sur, fence. Good. Sikin, knife. Nazara, glasses. Next. Nukta. Point. Dot, you can also say. Okay, dot. Neil, Nile River. Markab, uh, it's ship. It's ship. Boat. Markab mean boat. Boat. Must comb. Mizalla, umbrella. So this word is also pronounced Markib. So the word Markib will feel appropriate. Okay. Both are okay. okay. So in the first lesson, we have learned how to greet someone. We just say, Ana Kamal, I Ana Saad. And then we welcome another person, Alan Kamal, 
on the cast stream like this. So I need two students who will practice this dialogue here. Mr. Musa Kasule and Mr. Mujahid. Assalamu alaikum. Mr. Mujahid, are you available? Yes. Reply him. Uh, I, I should speak. He has uh, said Assalamu alaikum. Reply to him. Okay. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kaifa Haluka is correct, but in this book we have not read it yet. So you better say, I am Mujahid. Okay. Ana Musa. Ana Mujahid. Then you will say, Welcome. Ahlan Mujahid. I am Musa. Uh, sir, today is our, uh, today is, uh, our first session. So it is very difficult to us to speak. Ahlan Mujahid. Ana Musa. Then you will say to him, Welcome. Ahlan wa sahlan. Ahlan wa sahlan. Okay, inshallah, our spoken will get better with the passage of time. So, on the previous pages, we have learned this vocabulary. So, who wants to read this vocabulary? Sanjeev. I can read. I think Sanjeevan Deodar. Mr. Sanjeevan Deodar, read this. Yes. Okay, okay, yeah. yes, sir. Uh, okay. Uh, Samak. Good. Umbrella. What is in your Menzil. Menzilla. Mizalla. 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 Good. Mizalla. Sur. 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 Then. If most. I don't remember. Must. 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 Okay. Then. I don't remember this also. It's okay. Markib. Markib. Mar Good. Markib. Next. Markib. Nazare. Nazare. Good. Then he's telling you that in Arabic we write from the right side to the left side. We proceed like this. In English we start writing from the left to the right, but in Arabic it is opposite. We start writing from right side always. And also we always start from top to bottom. We never start any Arabic letter or word from the bottom to up. We always start from the top to bottom like this. And also we always start from right to left not from left to right. This is for writing practice that you can do on your word or notebook. Then again, we have the same vocabulary that we have read previously. Who wants to read? Raise their hand. Musa Kasule. Midolle. Umbrella Nagwale Glasses Samak Fish Nokpa Dot Sur Fence Sikin Mush Sikin Knife Tadribu Rabe fourth lesson or others Rabe fourth lesson Taali Narsum. In the previous lesson, we have learned the word Taal. Taal is for male and Taali is for female. Whenever we want to say to a male, come, we will say to him Taal. But when we say the same thing to female, we say Taali. Or Taali, you can also say. 
So here too we have female, so that's why he is saying Tali kam. Narsumu, let's draw. So in the previous lesson, you have learned the that the word ta means you and the letter hamza mean I. Here we are learning the letter noon. Noon mean we. So narsumu, we draw. Ta'ali narsum. Let us draw some pictures or some painting, whatever we have. Tali Nartum, let's draw. Let's make some pictures. Al Wahdatu Sani, a second unit. Al Hewar mean dialogue. Khatija, the first lady says, Khatija mean, Khatija says, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you. Salima replies, Wa alaikum salam, and peace be upon you too. Khatija says, Anna Khatija, I am Khatija. Salima, Ahlan Khatija, welcome Khatija. Wa ana Salima, and I am Salima. Khatija, Ahlan wa Sahlan Salima, welcome Salima. Salima, Hal Arsamu Maaki. So to male we say Maaka, like in the previous lesson we said Maaka. But here we have female, so we will say ma ki. This is a difference between male and female. We need to remember this difference. Ma ka for male and ma ki for female. Hal ar samu ma ki. Can I draw with you? Khatija taali narsum. Let's draw. Let's some make. Let's make some printing. So to male we say taal and to female we say taali or taalai. Both are okay. Narsumu withdraw. If anyone has any question, then they can ask me. Sanjeev and Mambasha, if you have any question, you can ask. Imbalo, if you have any question, you can ask. Asalaamu Alaikum sir. Wa Alaikum as -salam. No, sir. Uh, sir this basic conversation is there, sir. Here, okay. Basic conversation I understood, but uh, these genders uh, I just got some confused. Maaki, maaka, like maaka, uh, gender maaka uh, is for uh, male, which means with you, and maaki okay. for female, which also mean with you. For example, sir, how it is like. Maaki, if you want to ask a male, can I draw with you? Then you say, Hal Arsamu Maaka. But if you want to ask the same question to a female, you will say, Hal Arsamu Maaki. Ka okay. for male and ki for female. Okay. Fine, sir. Thank you. I need to raise your hand. Um, sir, can I approach it? Mr. Mbalo, can you hear me? All right. Yeah, yeah, I can hear. Can you hear? Okay, Mr. Mbalo, you are Khatija and Basha, you are Salima. Read and trust. I have a question first. I wanted to ask a question. Okay, ask the question. Okay. So thank you very much for the opportunity. Uh, it's about the ta'al. You said ta'al for male when you send to male come ta'ali for female. And how about if it's many people like okay. male? And for female, how say? Good question. For plural person, we will learn in the next lessons. At the moment, oh, we okay. have started the singular words only. For dual and oh. plural word, we will study them in the later lessons. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, Anas, oh, really? Mr. Anas, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, Mr. Anas, you are Khatija? And Basha okay. and Salima. Read it. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Ana Khadija. I'm Khadija. Yes, I'm Salim. That's sorry. Haza Haza Khadija tu. Ahlan Khadija. Ahlan Khadija tu. Ana Salim. 
اهلا وسهلا سالمة ويلكم سالمة على نرسو هل ارسمو هل ارسم هل ارسمو هل ارسمو مالك ماكي هل ارسمو ماكي تعالي نرسو كم ويل درو so we have learned this uh, this is the vocabulary that we have learned in the previous lesson when maza mean what tarsumu you are drawing and this question is for male tarsumu you are drawing arsumu i am drawing so i need two students who will read and translate this sanjeevan devdar Yes, sir. I can. Kasim, you both will read. Ma, ma, ad, ma, ad. Okay, sir. So, what should I read? Uh, both, read both, all this, all the stuff. You are the first student, and you will ask the question, and Kasim will answer you your question. Okay, okay, okay. Ma, ma, ad, tarsum. ترسمو سوري ماذا ترسمو؟ ارسم حد حديقة الحيان. You both need to translate it as well. Okay, start again. ماذا ترسمو؟ What are you drawing? Watching. What are you drawing? Drawing. Okay, yeah. Drawing. What are you drawing? Maada tarsamo. Arsam hadi ka al hayan. Arsamo. Listen. Arsamo hadi ka al hayan. Arsamo hadi ka al hayan. 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 Sir, hayan means animal. Yes, hayan means animal, and hadi ka al hayan means Zoo. I am drawing the zoo. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let me read it first. Then it will become easy for both of you. Okay. Maza tar sumu. What are you drawing? Ar sumu hadi katal hewan. I am drawing the zoo. Next we have maza tar sumu. What are you drawing? Ar sumu al madrasa. I am drawing the school. Maza tar sumu. What are you drawing? Al sumu shajara. I am drawing the tree. Maza tar sumu. What are you drawing? Al sumu jamala. I am drawing the camel. Okay. Now, Kasim and. Musa Kasule. Kasim, you will ask the question and Kasule will answer you. Mother Tarsum. Translation. Arusimu Hadiqata Al Hayawan. Kasim translated as well. Uh, what are you draw drawing? Okay. Kasule. Arusimu Hadiqata Al Hayawan. Doing a, a zoo. I am drawing a zoo. Okay, next. Mother Tarsam, what are you drawing? Arusimo al Madarasa. I'm drawing the school. Mother Tarsam, what are you drawing? I'm drawing the tree. Mother Tarsam, what are you drawing? I'm drawing the camel. I'm drawing the camel. 
Next time, inshallah, we'll start this lesson at Darsul Khamis. If anyone has any question, they can ask me. I will allow all of you to unmute yourself so you can ask me question directly. Now you all can unmute yourself. Can I ask I, you something? I have one question. Yes, please. Yes, ask. Will we, will we be able to access these recorded videos for? Yes, I will. Yes, I will upload it to the YouTube and I will send the link in the WhatsApp group, inshallah. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I have a question. Yes. Will, you know, after we're doing this book, uh, will we be doing also uh, like Nahwa and Surf? Yes, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, but this is later on, isn't it? After one month, inshallah. As okay, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Wa yakum. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I'm uh, Padan Muhammad Basha from India. Okay. Thank you so much for your uh, class because this is my first class. I didn't attend uh, before. So I request you to kindly send the Zoom according to that our schedule, uh, our day plan, we can easily attend the class. Otherwise, it, uh, it is very difficult. I just now uh, seen and immediately joined to, I don't want to miss it. Alhamdulillah, so I participated, I learned it. Thank you so much. Our uh, class time is same, inshallah, every day same time the class will be conducted and the holiday will be on every week wednesday and thursday inshallah okay so after Dohar namaz every day it depends on your country in some country it is even morning time in some country it is Zohar time i don't know about i think in india it is after Zohar time so yes you can say after Zohar time according to your country okay per day half an hour only sir yes it's 2.30 in our country. Okay. It's 2.30. Okay. 